What's up guys, today we got a pretty cool video and it's a video that I've wanted to share with you guys just simply because when I purchased this pink light, a lot of people didn't know about the full Streamlight line. So today we're gonna to be covering all the lights that Streamlight has that I personally own that I can show you and talk about the features and the functions of each one and what makes them a little bit different from the others. So let's dive into this Streamlight flashlight review. You guys, come on. All right guys, so like I mentioned in the intro, um, today we're gonna be looking at the Streamlight line. These are all the lines, lights that I personally own. All of these are mine. They were not sent to me by Streamlight. They was all purchased with my own money. Most of them came from Matco Michael's truck. So if you think this is a sponsored video, it is, it's sponsored by myself and my pocketbook and my bank account. Streamlight did not send me a single thing. So. Without any further ado, let me explain the reason why I want to do this video today. When I purchased this Strion light from Matco Michael, there was a discussion about some stream lights and a lot of people didn't know about some of the different lights that they had. Obviously the micro stream is very popular as long as the Stylus Pro, but I want to dive into these and show you the differences of these lights and what makes them a little unique and we'll talk about the lumens and the runtime and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna start with the smallest of the bunch. This is the macro stream. And you can see it's very small. Um, it's an extremely nice light. It is a 250 lumen light. It runs three and a half hours on low, one and a half hours on high. Um, like I say, it's 250 lumens. It's 3.87 inches in length. Very nice light. You simply pull the cap forward and it reveals the micro USB charging port. Micro USB was fabulous when they come out. It was much better than the older, you know, micro USB or whatever the other one was, macro, I don't know, the bigger USB. Um, but now since USB's come out, USB-C has come out, it's kind of alleviated a lot of the problems that you had with these. Because if you have your charger upside down and you push it in, it'll push it into the, the light itself and you'll ruin it. That is the micro stream by Streamlight. It's an extremely nice light. The way the hat clip is made on it, it'll go on this way and you can wear it on your hat or it opens this way and you can wear it in your pocket. It's a pretty cool design. Um, it and the macro stream both have the same uh, clip system on it. So that is the micro stream. The macro stream, this is the one a lot of people wasn't familiar with when I talked in the video when I purchased this light. I actually purchased this one off the Mac truck. This come from Mac Daddy Michael. Um, I'm a huge fan of this light. I like it that it's a little bit fatter. It fits my hand a little bit better. Um, I like the length of it because it sticks out past my fingers where that one goes up inside it. Um, it's all just personal preference, which you'd rather have in a light. Now this light is a little bit special because of the lumens that it has. So this light has 500 lumens with a two hour runtime on high, eight hour runtime on low. Um, it is four and a half inches long and weighs 2.2 ounces. I'm a real big fan of this light. You can push it on and then you can push it again and it turns it to low. Uh, the same way with the macro stream, you know, it's low and then high. You kind of have to double click it with your finger. You kind of double click it with your finger and it's on low, double click it again and it's on high. So the macro stream and the micro stream both have that feature. This, like I say, is the macro stream. This is the micro stream. So if you're looking for a little bit brighter light, the macro stream is definitely the way to go if you're looking for one that's small enough to hold in your hand. And um, it's also got the hat clip ability. This one, you pull it out and it reveals the same micro USB charging port. 
Um, they are, do have a rubber O-ring in both of these to protect them from water, but that is the micro stream. The next one in the lineup is my personal favorite. It, like I say, this one you can actually see the Matco logo on where I bought it from Matco Michael. This one is the Stylus Pro USB. Um, I'm a huge fan of this light. This is the one that I carry in my shirt pocket. I really enjoy this light. I like the length of it. Um, it also has the collar you pull back and it reveals the micro USB charging port. It's an extremely nice feeling light in your hand. I like the button. I just like this light as a design features overall. This is my favorite of the pocket style lights, like shirt pocket style lights. Um, it's just got the standard belt clip. Now one of the, the negatives I do say, this is bad about popping off, so you have to watch it. I've lost these a couple of times and had to repurchase them, but it is what it is. Every light's got pros and cons. But let's talk about the lumens on this. It is a 350 lumen flashlight. It's 5.95 inches long. It weighs 1.8 ounces. It comes in all kind of different colors. Um, you can dim it with the same double click feature and that way you can have low and high on it. It's a great light. I have nothing negative to say other than the pocket clip pops off, but it's a fantastic light. The runtime on this light is, ex is exceptional for what it is. It's three and a half hours um, runtime on that on high. I don't remember what the low runtime is or the high runtime is. I can't remember, but I know it lasts a long time. I'm very pleased with the battery life on this one. Um, the next pocket style uh, flashlight that I have to show you is the wedge light by Streamlight. Now this is a very unique design. I've showed it a couple of times on my channel. It's designed to mimic a pocket light in your pocket. That way it's very comfortable to wire every day. You can change sides with the, the pocket clip if you want to wire on your left side or your right side, whatever makes you happy. Um, it's got a flip switch on it and it is 300 lumens on low. You push it forward and it's 1000 lumens. The only negative that I have with this light to this point is I wished it would lock on the thousand lumens so you could leave it on brighter if you wanted to instead of having to hold it with your finger. I understand it gets hot, I understand it kills your battery, but let the consumer choose that themselves. If you could lock it on the high mode, it would be great. Um, one of my other favorite features that I do like about this light, it has USB-C charging. It's phenomenal. It comes in this coyote color as well as black. It's a very, very good light. Um, it is 5.46 inches long and it weighs 3.3 ounces. Um, it's supposed to run three hours on low and there's no life expectancy or battery rated expectancy on high because it's just a momentary click. But it's a very good light if you're looking for one to carry in your pocket like most guys do. This is the way to go. Shirt pockets, these are still my favorite style. But that's kind of the smaller lights that we have. Um, if you notice here, I do have two of the lights. I have the Stinger, which is this one, and the Strawn, which is this one. I also have the 2020 um, Stinger. At the moment, I don't remember where I left it. It's in one of my trucks. I would have it out here to show you, uh, but I actually bought that from Tex Choice. He had a good deal on those lights. I purchased it from Matt Sledge. It's a great light. Um, I like the features and functions of it. It's a 2000 lumen light. It runs two hours on high. Um, I believe it was 24 hours on low. I don't remember what the low setting was, but it was pretty dim, but it's got a very nice feel to it. It kind of reminds you of a Glock. If you've ever held a Glock the way the, the texture is on it. It's a really nice light. I'm a fan of it. Um, I wish I had it here to show you, but I don't remember which truck I left it in. It may be on the farm. It may be at the house. I don't know. I couldn't find it at the time I shot this video. Um, the next light that we have is the Strawn. Um, this is the Strawn LED. They have some different models, so you know, don't hold me to the fire with the lumens because they've got so many different models of these lights that you can purchase. Um, 
Obviously, this is the Breast Cancer Research Foundation light. It's purchased it from Matco Michael, and it's kind of what sparked the whole idea of this video with a micro stream in the macro stream conversation. So, so it has 375 lumens on this version and has a two and a half hour runtime. Um, it's got a nine and a half hour runtime on low. I don't remember off the top of my head what the lumen rating was on low, but as you can see, it's got the strobe feature on it. Um, and you push and hold it and it goes down three steps and back up three steps for your light levels to change. Now this one does have the AC-DC piggyback charger with the Spire battery, which is very nice. You just simply unscrew it, stick the other battery in it that's on your piggyback, put that one on the charger. When you get through with the job, you snap the light on charger and that way you have two batteries ready to go at one time. It's a really good feature, I like that. Um, this light is 5.9 inches long and it weighs 5.2 ounces. It's a nice little light. It's not the brightest light in the world, but it is great for a rechargeable light that's going to give you a lot of runtime. And it's got the kind of octagon shaped collar around it so it don't roll off when you're working on stuff. They've got it in tons of different colors. Um, I know the blue, red, green, orange, silver, black, um, obviously the pink for the Breast Cancer Foundation. And this can still be purchased directly through Streamlight from their website if you don't have a Matco dealer. And it still goes to help fund the Breast Cancer Foundation, which is always a plus. The next light that I have to show you, this one is the Stinger LED HL. So for the high lumen version, um, obviously this is the blue one. It's the same way it comes with the AC-DC charger and the spare piggyback. I actually bought this one for Mr. Joe. Um, it's a really nice light. I keep this one in one of my trucks. Um, it's probably one of the newest ones behind this one that I've added to the collection. I always try to keep a stream light uh, that's gonna leave some battery life on the side of the road in case you need it. And this one here is without a doubt one of the best. Um, if you're using it to get up cows, if you live on a farm, this thing is very, very handy. All right, so this one is 615 lumens on high. It has a 1.25 hour runtime on high. It has a four and a half hour runtime on low. Um, it is 5.9 inches in length. Uh, it weighs 5.2 ounces. And like I say, you simply push it on and then you can like triple click it and it goes to the strobe mode. But that is the Stinger LED HL. So I'm going off the specifications on Streamlight's um, website, obviously. And, um, you know, there's different variations of each one of these lights, especially the Stinger and the Strawn. You can get different lumen outputs and all that. So don't hold my feet to the fire on that because they're obviously different models. The prices are all over the place. Obviously, if you buy them on a tool truck, you're gonna spend more than if you buy them directly off the internet, especially with Amazon and stuff like that. The good part is all of these lights are field serviceable for the most part. I know I've had the button replaced and the switch on this light a couple of different times. The rubber part actually comes apart pretty easy on those. The advantage of buying them from a tool truck, you get them fixed right then. You don't have to wait, you don't have to mail them off, and you're not down a lot. Most of the guys have a drawer full of these, and they'll rob parts back and forth off of them to get you going, which is always a plus. Most guys keep all the parts for the Stingers and the Strawns on the truck and different batteries, so that's always a good thing to have at your disposal. They've actually got one called the Pocket Mate. I got it for my wife. I'll put a screenshot up here, some of the pictures of it. And it's a really cool light. Um, they come in silver, red, blue, and pink. Obviously hers is the pink version. It's rechargeable. You peel the little rubber thing back on the side and it's got a micro USB recharging port in it. Super, super awesome little light. So it'd be a great gift for anybody for Christmas if you're thinking about getting them something that they'll definitely use. Um, that light is 45 to 325 lumens. Yes, 45 to 325 lumens. It's an exceptionally bright little light. It runs one hour on low 
in like a half an hour or something like that on high. It's a very nice little lot, clips your keychain. You'll always have a lot with you no matter what. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about something for somebody for Christmas because that's a cool little gift. But anyway, guys, that's my line of the Streamlight flashlights. Obviously, Streamlight makes tons of different lights like the blade style lights, the bear trap. Lord, the list goes on and on and on and on. They've got headlamps, all of that stuff. Streamlight's a very good company and they make excellent tools or flashlights. Or if you consider a flashlight a tool, there you go. But either way, they make excellent products. But anyway, guys, that's my video today. Hopefully you liked it and hopefully you learned a little something about Streamlight. Like always, links are in the description for many of these that you've seen today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, all you have to do is click that button. It's totally free. It never costs you a dime. You guys have a great week and we will catch you later.